What's up guys, Jerome here from the Bonsai Supply and today I wanted to show you step by step how to repot a bonsai tree. Alright, so first we're going to set up the pot and here are a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need some screens, uh, you're going to need some short wires and depending on the size of the tree, one or two wires. Alright, so most pots have two big holes and two smaller holes as there's some pots that only have the big holes and there's also some pots that only have one hole. But the pots with uh, four holes, we're going to cover the two large holes with the screen and we're going to use the two smaller holes for the wires to go through. All right, so we're going to take one of the screens and cover one of the holes at the bottom, take the short wire, bend it in half as such, and then use this wire kind of like a pin to keep the screen from moving. So we push it all the way through, hold it in place, and then bend the outside of the wire flush to the bottom of the pot as such to keep the screen from moving all right so you want to make sure that you cover both of the holes with the screen and the wire and next we're going to use the uh, the wire which is called the tie down wire and we're going to feed it through these two holes but if you don't happen to have these two holes you can also feed them through here but since i have the holes i'm going to feed them through the holes so again the same principle you bend the long wire in half and this time the wire goes through from the outside from the bottom of the pot push it all the way through and then make sure that the wire is flush against the bottom of the pot and try to have both of the wires about the same length and then you're going to take the second wire and do the same again so make sure that the two wires uh, are flush laying next to each other and i don't always use two wires but if i have a big tree such as the one that i'm using today i want to make sure that i use two wires so that i can safely secure the tree into the pot all right, so next, the tree that I have here is a juniper, which is probably one of the most popular species for bonsai. And so the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this tree up. Uh, and what that means is I'm going to remove all the branches that are too close to the base of the tree. And I'm also going to remove all the branches that uh, are unsuited for the design today. All right, so for the thicker branches, I'm going to use my concave cutters. And since this branch is so close to the bottom of the tree, I'm going to remove it. And then I'm going to take my scissors and remove all of these little uh, shoots here that are growing from the base of the tree. So basically what I did here is I removed all the branches that were kind of hiding the trunk line. So I cleaned that up, I removed all the uh, little shoots that grew from the trunk um, and not from out here. And I just cleaned it up a little bit and now I'm going to go ahead and pot it. Alright, so now I'm going to use a uh, root rake and I'm going to gently uh, remove the soil from the base of the tree out and I'm just going to make sure that I'm not going to break any roots and it's really important every time that you repot from a pre bonsai into a bonsai container and you're going to use some good soil make sure that you leave about 20 to 30 percent of the old black soil on your pre bonsai and the reason why we leave about 20 to 30 percent is just so that the tree can recover much faster and does not get shocked by the new soil
root rake to rake away some of the uh, old soil. And then once I see these fine roots, I'm just gonna take my scissors and just trim those back. Kind of like cutting hair, pretty much the same idea. You're gonna remove all of these roots that are sticking out so that when we pot the tree into the new pot with the new soil surrounding this root ball, the roots can uh, leave the uh, old root ball with the old roots with the old soil and grow into the new soil as needed and is very safe so that the tree does not get shocked now that it is being introduced into new soil. All right, this is about as much uh, of the root mass that you want to leave with the old soil mixed in. Uh, it's about 20 to 30 percent of the original root ball that it had at the very beginning. So now we can fit this into the uh, new bonsai container at any angle that we'd like and fill it in with the fresh, new, good bonsai soil. Alright, so next I'm going to fill in the uh, container about a third way with the uh, new bonsai soil. And this is our all-purpose bonsai soil, which is made out of four aggregates, pumice, lava, calcined clay, and pine bark. And this is much better suited for uh, growing container-grown plants. All right, so I'm gonna place my tree and give it a little trial fit to see what the tree looks like at a new position inside my bonsai container. And as you see, as you can see, I had to change the angle a little bit to make my tree stand up right a little more and make it look a little more interesting. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna mount some more of the soil in the back to prop the tree up a little more. And once the tree sits in the position that I want it to be, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and tie it down but I always use the soil to position the tree. All right, so once my tree is positioned, I'm gonna go ahead and tie the tree down. And so as you can see, I have two wires in the front and two wires in the back. And when I first repot a tree from a pre-bonsai into a bonsai container, the roots are mostly not that strong. So I like to tie the, the wires against the trunk, against the bottom of the trunk of the tree, so that the tree can establish healthy and strong roots. And then the next time I repot the tree, I can remove some more of the old soil and then tie the tree down over the roots. So I'm gonna take the wire from this side from to one of the wires on the back side, like that. So I'm just gonna cross it over the root ball like that and then tie it against the uh, base of the tree as such. I'm gonna do that with both sides. And then I'm going to take my uh, wire cutters, remove the excess wire. And I'm going to take my pliers. And so this is really important. You want to make sure that you hold your tree in position with one hand, grab the uh, wire with your pliers with, with the other hand and pull up on the wire and twist it against the uh, base of the tree. So don't press it down over the roots. Press it against the base of the tree. Pull up and twist, pull up and twist. Here we go. And now the tree is sitting inside my container very firm. It's not going anywhere. So if there's any wind blowing or anything, it's not gonna disturb the root system. So once again, I'm gonna remove the excess wire. And then I'm just going to fill in the rest of the pot with our all-purpose bonsai soil. And I'm going to use a chopstick to push the soil down into the pot and make sure that I work out all of the air pockets within the soil. All right, so now that I've filled in the pot with a good amount of soil, I'm going to use a chopstick. And I'm just going to push the uh, soil down into the pot and just make sure that there's no air pockets in the soil. So I want to make sure that the soil is really nicely uh, compact in the, in the pot and that there's no loose uh, spaces anywhere. All right, so now that the tree is repotted, I'm going to have to go ahead and water this tree immediately. And you want to saturate it, you want to water it really well until the water comes out the bottom of the pot. 
and then keep your tree in a shaded area outdoors for two weeks, water it daily, and after the two weeks, the tree is then safe to go back out into full sun. All right, so this is what the tree looks like after two months of spending uh, in full sun, and it looks great. Um, I do suggest that you do some research before on the species before you repot it, just to make sure that you repot it at the right time of the year. Um, I do hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, the repotting technique applies for all the species pretty much the same way. Um, I hope that you guys learned a little something today, and make sure to comment below and let me know what you think of this repotting technique. Subscribe to our channel, and I'll catch you guys next time.